Um, big time shot by a big time player, and you know, in games like this, guys have to, players have to make plays, and he did. So credit to them. Uh, they're twenty to eight on the offensive glass. Um, you know, like we couldn't overcome that, and especially when we don't shoot the ball well. So, uh, and all that's a credit to TCU. They they did a great job. Thankful for our fans who showed up, and and they were great, great support. You know, I thought our guys fought. Um, we we're, were always the smartest, and so we can try to correct some of that. Um, but I thought they gave everything they had. Let's go first. Uh, Jerome, it seemed like there were two times when you could have maybe put the game out of the reach for them, up 10 in the first half, up 8 in the second half. Both times they came right back at you. What do you think happened in those stretches? Well, um, I don't know if you watched any of the other games, but in every game, pretty much every game they've played, the they've either been up big and the other team's come back, or the other team's been up big and they've come back. They, they're just a team of runs. They, they play in spurts. And so we knew that though that was going to happen. But we also knew that when um, we, we couldn't extend it, you know, uh, that uh, they would make a comeback. And when they extended, that they would give us the opportunity to come back. So, I mean, they, they've been like that all year long. Um, so why couldn't we extend the lead? I think, um, you know, they got a really veteran group over there. Uh, I think before the season started, that team had scored over 8,000 points together in their college careers. And uh, they're the third oldest team in college basketball, so they don't get rattled. And, you know, whereas when the crowd's going crazy, and for some teams it can, like, affect them, they're, they have the ability to come out and, uh, and end runs and make plays. And so there's more credit for them than, than our shortcoming. I also want to ask, you seem pretty fired up after some of David's hustle plays out there. What, what did you like um, in that department? Matt, you know, we, uh, we, sh we showed some stuff on film where we thought we could get in the passing lane and, you know, really disrupt what they were doing, be more assertive. I, I didn't feel like we have, we have been aggressive enough defensively. And when you have a, a high turnover percentage, um, the only thing to really combat that is to create a high turnover percentage. And that's really what I wanted to see today. And I thought David in particular uh, did a great job of uh, getting in the passing lane, getting deflections. Uh, I, I want to see us do more of that going forward. Tyler had 24 points, but was oh for something from the three point line to kind of have that perseverance to kind of keep going to the bucket. What did you like about how he played? Uh, man, I, you know, TP's a fighter, and, you know, I was real proud of him because of how they were guarding him. It was hard for him to get off shots, but it didn't stop him from putting his head down and getting to the lane and taking, you know, the contact, and, and he finished a couple and ones, and so um, really, really proud of him, you know, for that. Uh, I just... Uh, you know, as a team, we didn't shoot it well. It wasn't just him. As a team, we didn't shoot it well from three. And when you don't shoot it well from three, you can't allow other teams to get second chance points. Mental toughness-wise, Cam kind of struggled throughout the entire game and then had to hit those two huge free throws to have the chance at maybe extending the game. He hits those. At just thoughts on, on, on him being able to do that. I, he's Louisiana tough. You know, kids from Louisiana, man, something about them. And I uh, call them Louisiana animals. And uh, he had missed two prior to that. And I had all the confidence in the world he was going to make them. You guys have now lost six out of the last seven. How do you keep your guys focused and not panicking after this stretch? The same way we'd do it if we had won one six of the last seven. We're going to take this game, we're going to put it in a box, and we're going to move on now. I'm not going to tell you that like it doesn't hurt, right? Like it hurts, but you got to put it in a box, and we have to move on to the next one because we got a Texas Longhorn team that's playing at home, that's in some of the same situations that we're in, you know. And uh, I remember uh, we had Baylor one year, and we started, I think we started 2 and 0, oh, and no, we, we, we lost um, uh, eight of our first ten games, so we were two and eight. 
and then, you know, was able to get healthy and like keep guys moving forward and we never stopped and uh, won seven of our last eight games, um, won two games in, or three games in the conference tournament, got to the NCAA tournament, went to the Sweet 16. And so um, there's nobody in that locker room that's quitting. There's nobody in the locker room that's panicking. You know, this is a big 12 game that comes down to one possession and we can figure out how to correct one or two possessions and flip this thing. And I was asking Tom, I think this is, while I've since I've been here, this is my first one being on the wrong side of one of those, right? And uh, it's gonna happen. You know, the, the, it's gonna happen over time. So, uh, but was really proud of the way our guys fought and how we executed to put ourselves in a tied situation. You know, with them with the ball and then defensively at the end, exactly what we wanted, right? Other than the shot going in, you know, we took them out of their ball screen action because we went zone and um, he shot a step back three from 25 contested you know I mean that's a for most people it's a 19 percent shot he just that was just the 19 percent that went in so is everything good with Jarrell I think so we'll, we'll see he tweaked it pretty bad and uh and but um he was able to go in the second half I just you could just tell he was not as quick and so you know try try to get keep Will out there more Uh, we got to be able to keep guys in front of us, you know. Uh, Michael Peavy was unbelievable, right? He was unbelievable. And, uh, you know, scouting report was he was drive right. And when he made a couple threes, he was, I think he's a 29% three-point shooter. We tagged way too low, and any Division One player can make Papa shot threes, and he did. He made two out of three, and um, I think that kind of got us a little giddy you know and so allowed him to drive but it wasn't the downhill the down well the downhill drive created rotations which gave up offensive rebounds on the backside and uh we had a plan for the drive and the help and then we told them exactly what needed to happen on the backside we just didn't execute it so if we can stop the drive it limits rotations right but um when a a non-shooter makes a couple sometimes it gets your guys you know, a little out of character because they're concerned about, about them making the next one. Man, I shouldn't answer that question, then I wouldn't have had another one. <laughs> Just going to Texas now, you've kind of had a stretch where you've had sort of the quick, the quick turnaround, but after a tough loss, would you rather just come back quickly and get back out there? Or? Yeah, I think they would. Uh, I know the players would. They, they'd rather just us start preparing for another game than giving the staff a couple of days to, you know, sort through this one. So um, I think our guys are, are way happier about that. How about you? I, I'm going to go look at the film and I'll let you know. <laughs> and what about Texas? What just what have you seen from them? That I, 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 you know, I, I watch every team. I just I like to watch games just, you know, I'm a junkie. And so uh, but I can't tell you that I've really. Broken out. I know Dylan DeSue is playing really well. Um, Max Asmus is an incredible player. We recruited him, and um, you know they brought back you know Tyrese Hunter and um, Dylan Mitchell, and so uh, you know they're a talented team, and they've got experience, and um, and they're playing at home. So it's going to be another Big 12 grinder, and uh, we have to figure out a way uh, for us to do a better job, you know, on the little things which turn out to be big things. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you, Coach. Hey, thanks a lot. Go Cats.